to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Nicola. I am a mum to two little boys and I'm a bride-to-be in about two months. How exciting. So today I am bringing you a 10 ways to clean with Sephora slash Sephora hacks. I'm addicted. That's about a quarter of my collection. So without further ado, here we go. So for the first hack, you're going to need an empty spray bottle, some Sephora and some water. That kettle has boiled and I've let it sit for a while. I've got a capful of Sephora there, I'm going to pop it into the spray bottle. And then I'm going to fill it up with this water. I'd say a capful to about half a spray bottle full of water. Make sure you've done the bottle up securely and away you go. I'll just show you a little bit here. Yeah, so you've got your Sephora spray solution and I use this. It's a disinfectant. Always remember to mix Sephora with water, but I use this on my kitchen sides. I spray it on my kitchen floor if there's a tough stain. And I've also got a top tip for your car, so keep watching. Okay, so the last tip that I've just given you moves us really nicely onto the next one. We are in the car, aren't we? It's really cold, but I'm going to show you what I do with Sephora in the car. So the spray bottle that I just showed you is two caps of Sephora and the rest of it water. And we're going to use it to just freshen up our car. I've got sort of an old cloth here to do it with. That sounds awesome. So I tend to just do that all over the like dashboard because that gets really really dusty when we drive with the windows down. And Isaac, what does our car smell like now? Amazing. <laughs> Another top tip for Sephora. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make a much cheaper version of Shake and Vac. You're going to need some bicarbonate of soda and a cap full of Sephora. I'm going to use, I think this is bouquet now. So pop your cap full of Sephora into your tub, like so. Give said tub a good shake. And me too. Pop it all over your chosen area. We have a little doggy and two kids, so I tend to do this mostly on the rug. Let it snow. Wait for five minutes and then give it a hoover off. Okay, that's close enough for me. Okay, so the next hack is to put the floor into your used up reed diffuser to keep it smelling fresh and to obviously keep it going for longer. I have actually just done this a couple of days ago, so I'll just show you essentially what I do. Take the reeds out, pop them on the side. Fill up a cap full of Sephora. I don't mix this with anything, so I do suggest that you keep these out of the way of children. I don't dilute it or anything like that. Pop it into a reed diffuser. At the minute, I've got Hello Spring in there, but it's usually Hello Spring or Linen Fresh in one of our bathrooms. And then simply pop the reed diffusers back in. And have it your newly, freshly fragranced reed diffuser. So the next three tips that I have to show you are based in the bathroom. The first tip that I'm going to show you is how to keep your bin fresh. So I've brought up the winter spice with me. This is limited edition so I'll grab a couple of bottles when I find it. And a top tip for keeping your bin fresh is is to put a cloth, baby wipe, piece of kitchen roll in the bottom of your bin that you've soaked in Sephora to help keep your bin fresh. So I've just got a baby wipe that has dried up. Seth took some out of the packet. So I'm going to douse it into some Sephora and pop it into the bottom of the bin. I'll then put the bag on top of that and it'll just help to keep your bin fresh. So just a small amount of Sephora will be absolutely fine. Just make sure that you're getting the cloth wet. Obviously this is my bin so it's not very pretty, but yeah, pop it at the bottom, pop your bag all in on top and it will keep your bin smelling lovely. So the next tip I've got is for your toilet or brush holder. Me and this guy have got a very love-hate relationship, but I would much prefer if I know that he's been completely disinfected and it's going to make my bathroom smell nice. So simply all I do is pop that out, pop a couple of glugs in the bottom. Pop the brush back in and it will keep your brush smelling fresh for days. 
last tip I have for you in the bathroom is one that I actually do in all of our sinks, but especially the bathroom sink, and I will show you what to do to keep your sink smelling lovely. So if I was doing this downstairs and I would use boiling water, but I basically start running the hot water in my bathroom, pop a capsule of Sephora down the sink cell, run the water for a few moments more. If I do this in the kitchen, I'd probably add some soda crystals as well, just to keep that plug hole to scale. But yeah, do this for a couple of minutes and your sink and your bathroom will smell absolutely heavenly. So just to follow on from the clip of the upstairs sink, I just thought I would show you what I do with the downstairs sink. So it's a little bit of a double tip for you. So I pop loads of these soda crystals there on the sink hole. Add a good glug of the floor. You can tell I'm not a measurer, can't you? Like that. Wait five minutes or so and then tip some boiling water down there. Descaling your sink, but you're also going to make it smell heavenly. And yeah, I do that about once every two weeks down here in the kitchen. So my next tip is in the living room, and again, you can use an old cloth. I've got a dried out baby wipe. You can see this happens quite often in my house, or you could use kitchen roll. This has been soaked in some linen fresh Sephora, just in a bowl here, and it's dried out again. I'm gonna show you what I do in the living room to keep your living room smelling absolutely delicious. So I've got my sheet of scented Sephora, and my living room cushion, and I'm just gonna pop it into the front of my cushion, like so, it's padded in there. Do it back up, pop it back on my sofa, and that makes for a really lovely smelling living room. The next hack that I have for you is to use the floor in your washing machine drawer to give your washing machine a good and thorough clean. And also, I have washing in the drum at the moment, but there's another way that I use the floor within my washing machine, and that is to give the drum a good clean. So I use some soda crystals that I just chuck into the drum, and I put a couple of cat's holes of floor in there and put my washing machine on its cleaning cycle. Literally, all I do is pop a couple of glugs full of Sephora into the fabric conditioner area. Squirt that all with white vinegar. I use white vinegar to clean with a lot. And then I'll leave that to soak for a little while and then pull the drawer out and give it a good run through with some hot water. And like I said, it really does leave your washing machine smelling a lot, a lot nicer and keeping it much, much cleaner. So I'm filming my last tip for you down here in the downstairs bathroom because if I'm honest I've floored every other area of my house and this one now needs doing. But the last tip is to wipe some Sephora over your heater so when your heating comes on in the evening or in the morning when you wake up the house smells lovely and delicious. So spray your heater with your Sephora diluted solution, wipe it in and voila! And sorted when your heating comes up later, your downstairs bathroom is going to smell delicious.